In this video, I will show you how to grow a simple image such as a house using built-in function plot in GNU Optive and MATLAB and manipulate the created image using linear transformation including image rotation and scale up. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. You know what to do to support my channel. First of all, I will show you how to draw a simple image like a house using the built-in function plot. If you want to learn more details about plot function, you can watch my other tutorial video given in the description down below or a caption in the upper right corner. The house image is nothing more than collections of several dots and connecting lines between the dots. To draw the house image, you can start with the two dots such as 0, 0,2 and 0, 0,0. The way that the plot function works, you need to provide the same size of x and y coordinates as a vector. Since I have two points, I need a 1 by 2 vectors for each. For x coordinate, I need a 0, 0,0 and for y coordinates, I need a 2, 0. To write a script for plotting the house image, I will begin with the clear all and close all to clear out all the existing variables and close all the figure windows. To create such a vectors in GNU Octave and MATLAB, I will use the variable x for the x coordinate and y for the y coordinate. Once you're done with the creating x and y coordinate, you can use plot function with x and y coordinate. You can save the M file and then run to see the vertical line, blue straight line with the very small font size. Actually, the image quality is not ideal since we do not clearly see the two dot and grid and the font size and the line width are not large or thick enough. To see the dot, I will use a specifier BO- dash, which stands for blue empty circle as a marker and straight line between the markers. Once you run again, you can see two markers and connecting line. Now I can also increase the marker size and the line thickness using additional specifier such as the marker size and line width with the properties. I'll use a marker size of 24, line width of 3. When you run this, you can show a better image. Next, I can increase the line width and font size of x and y axis using set function. The set function requires which figure window that you would like to control. And GCA stands for the current figure window, followed by the properties that you would like to control, including the line width and font size. I use a line width of 2 and font size of 72. Now when you run it again, you can clearly read the numbers and X and Y axis. Now you can also customize your lower and upper bounds of X and Y axis by using axis function. The axis function requires the lower bound and upper bounds of x axis followed by lower bound and upper bounds of y axis as a 1 by 4 vector. Now you change the lower bound and upper bound for x and y axis. Also, if you like to have figure window with the same aspect ratio between x and y axis, you can use axis square. So when you rerun this, you can see the square axis. Lastly, I will add the grid by using grid on. When you run it again, you can see the grid in the figure. To continue to finish the house image, you can add the x and y coordinate into the variables x and y. Now I will include 2,0, 2,2, 1,3, .2, and 0, 0,2 and 2,2. Now you can see I have two 0, 0,2 and 2, 2,2 since the plot function shows the straight line between two markers. So I have to duplicate the coordinates to show the straight lines. I simply add the additional x and y coordinate to finish the house image in the script. Once you run the script again, you can see the beautiful house image. Now the question comes how to manipulate the images. Let's say 45 degree counterclockwise rotation and scaling. You can use the linear transformation matrix. 
Linear transformation is a linear operator transforming from one vector space to another. It is also known as a linear mapping. If you have a column vector x, you can transform your column vector x to another column vector x prime through the linear operator A. The linear operator A can be transformation matrix. The linear transformation is a very useful mathematical tool in many applications including image analysis and control theories and so on. In this video, I'll use a transformation matrix to rotate and scale 2D images. To rotate the image, you can use the following transformation matrix. If you have column vector x given in the 2D plane y versus x, the coordinate of vector x can be rotated in the counterclockwise direction with the theta degree through the linear transformation. The transformation matrix A for the counterclockwise rotation is cosine theta in, in diagonal elements and sine theta in off-diagonal elements. Once you multiply A by x, you can predict the new position for the counterclockwise rotated coordinate x prime. Let's say we have a simple triangle geometry in y versus x plane as a blue point and line. The coordinate for the three cones are given as 0, 0, 1, 2, and 3, 1. These coordinates are my original column vector x. The first row will be the x coordinate, and the second row will be y coordinate. If you want to rotate 90 degree counterclockwise, you can simply plug 90 degree into the theta, and your transformation matrix A becomes 0, minus 1, 1, and 0. Once you multiply A by X, you can calculate the new coordinate for the rotated triangle as 0, 0, minus 2, 1, and minus 1, 3, which are shown as a resulting X prime. This is graphically shown in the red color. You can use this approach to work on rotation of the house image. The first step is to combine X and Y coordinate into a single matrix, like 2x7 matrix for the original house image. I will use the square brackets to combine X and Y variables into the new variable org. You can check the elements of the variable org. As you expect, you have 2x7 matrix. Then I will create the linear transformation matrix A for the image rotation. I have A equals cosine theta minus sine theta, sine theta, and cosine theta. My theta is the angle that you would like to rotate and it should be in radian. Since I would like to rotate 45 degree, so I will use pi over 4. So once you run and check the matrix A, you have cosine pi over 4 and minus sine pi over 4, sine pi over 4. To calculate x and y coordinates of the rotated images, I can use rot equals a multiplied by org, where the rot is the variable for the x and y coordinates of rotated images. Once you run and check the elements in the rot, and you can see another 2 by 7 matrix. To visualize a rotated image using plot function, you need to separate rot into x and y coordinate as the two separate vectors. I will use x underscore road and y underscore road for the x and y coordinate for the rotated images by using x underscore road equals road one comma column and y underscore road equals road two comma column. You can see the row vectors for x and y coordinate. Now I will add these coordinate into the existing plot function with red color and star symbol for the marker. Similarly, I will use set function and axis function, x square and grid on. When you run the script, you can see the original image and rotated image in the same figure window. For the next example, we can double the image size. To understand how to increase the image size using the transformation matrix, we'll go over 2D image scaling. Again, we have a point x in 2D domain. For the image scale, again, we have a point x in 2D domain. For the image scale, 
the transformation matrix A is given as a scaling parameter K in the diagonal element and 0 in the off-diagonal element. If K is larger than 1, the point X will be stretched. And if K is smaller than 1, it will shrink. Once you multiply matrix A by column vector X, you get X prime, which represents a scaled image. I have the same triangle here as a column vector X in blue color, and I use scaling factor K equals 0.5 to shrink my triangle. So my transformation matrix A becomes 0.5, 0, 0, and 0.5. Once you multiply A by X, your new coordinate for the shrunken triangle becomes 0, 0,0, 0, 0.5, 1, 1.5, 0, 0.5, which are shown in the figure as the red points and lines. In the script editor, and you can modify the linear transformation matrix A for the scaling. I start with the scaling factor K, which is 2. Then we have A equals K multiplied by I2, where the built-in function I creates an identity matrix. When you type I2, you can see 2 by 2 identity matrix. When you display A, you can see the doubled identity matrix. To calculate the X and Y coordinates of the scaled image, I can use scaled equals A multiplied by org, where the variable scaled is the variable for the X and Y coordinates. When you look at the scaled, you can see 2 by 7 matrix. Similar to the rotated image, to visualize the scaled image using plot function, you need to separate the scale into X and Y coordinates as the two separate vectors. I'll use X underscore scaled and Y underscore scaled for the X and Y coordinates for the scaled images by using X underscore scaled equals scales 1 comma column and Y scaled equals scale 2 comma column. You can see the row vectors for X and Y coordinates. Now I will add this coordinate into the existing plot function with the red color and star symbols for the markers. Also, I will increase the font size and line width of the figure and customize the lower bound and upper bound of X and Y axis. At the end, I will also add the grid to the figure. When you run the script, you can see the original image and scaled image in the same figure window. Thanks for watching this video until the end and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch similar videos in future. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. See you next time.